If you want to take your social security early, meaning earlier than your full retirement age, so you want to get it at 62, 63, 64. Yes, 65. That's not your full retirement age either. If you want to take it early, then you can only make a certain amount of money. And in 2023, that amount is $21,240. So a lot of people think, well, that's like how much I make in Social Security, so I can't work at all. No, you can get your full Social Security, whatever that amount is, and work, have a job, active job wages this year and earn $21,240. And yeah, yeah, and there's an and. You can make more money. You can have a whole bunch of other sources of income as long as they're considered passive income. They are unlimited. So a lot of people don't retire because they think, well, I can't live on just my Social Security. You don't have to live on just your Social Security. You can work part time and you can have a lot of passive income if you're lucky enough to have that opportunity. Let's talk about active versus passive income. You can get my Social Security cheat sheet, which has a, in the bottom left hand corner of the first page, it'll, it'll have a small summary of active versus passive income, and it has all these income limits. And if you're watching this not in 2023, I update this cheat sheet every year because all these amounts do change annually. So go get the new cheat sheet if it's outdated. Now let's look at your number one question is how about my pension? You retired from Apple. That'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? And you're getting a very generous pension. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Unlimited, unlimited. It does not count against your active income. So when we talk about your active income, that's work you're doing this year. Does not include passive. Retirement is passive. Another big one that you overlook is your 401k money, 503b, your IRA money. And again, passive. Take as much out as you want of your 401k and your IRA. Will not count. We'll take as much as you want. You can take it all out. Now, don't do that because these amounts are taxable, unlike your Roth IRA, and you will pay the taxes, but possibly drive up the cost of Medicare Part B. So be very careful because a lot of people are like, oh, great, I can take as much as I want. I'm going to take out 100 grand, and that really can mess you up for Medicare Part B. Go watch my videos on that before you decide to take a whole bunch of money out of here. But yes, as far as Social Security, earnings limit is concerned. They don't care how much you take. As long as you're 59 and a half, you can take as much as you want. Social Security doesn't care. We're talking about different channels here. The IRS, they care about their income, but Social Security cares about your earned income. And this is passive. How about if you're a gambler? I've had a, a surprising amount of gamblers contact me and say, Hey, I made 80 grand last month. Now what? Do I lose my Social Security? Do I have to pay it back? Am I going to be fined? Cool. You can make as much as you want gambling. Good luck to you. Um, it's unlimited. It is considered passive income. So as much as you want in gambling, no problem. How about you win the lottery? Same thing. I don't have a lot of those people in my comments, but the same thing. Passive income. Inheritance. Again, passive income. Does not matter. Um, and I'm not, doing, I'm not doing this video specifically on people on disability, but it's the same for disability. They have different income limits, but you can inherit a million dollars and not lose your disability or your social security. It's passive. It is unlimited. So this, this is the really good chart to kind of explain it a little bit better. Anything that's active income means you worked for income. You were involved in it. You had a schedule. You didn't have an investment. You got a steady income versus passive income, like your stock portfolio. You, your money works for you. Interest, capital gains, dividends. It's hands off income. I don't have to do anything to get that dividend on my stocks. Um, it's not scheduled. It's more risky. It's a bigger reward. It involves an investment and it gives you a cash flow stream. So I have a rental house. It's providing income for the rents, Passive income doesn't count. So let's go back to the amount again for the year. If you are under your full retirement age, if you don't know that, get my social security cheat sheet on our website. 
You can make 21,240 this year. Now I've had a lot of people say, well, I heard it's 18,900 and I heard it's 19,200. Those are amounts from past years. This amount does change annually. This is the amount for 2023. And you can kind of guesstimate what it's going to be for 2024. It's probably going to be around 23,000. You know, it goes up a little bit every year. Make sure you know what it is. Because if you go over that limit, for every $2 you go over, they'll reduce your social security by $1. When does that happen? When you pay your taxes and they see that you, you made 40 grand. They said, ah, you made about 19,000 too much. So for every $2 you went over, we're going to reduce you next year which means they're going to take about eight grand out of your money next year. You don't need that surprise, right? So know what this limit is and try to work within your part-time job to stay right around there. If you go over it a little bit, they're going to take a little bit of your social security out. I'll talk in another video about what happens to that money. Now, in the year that you reach your full retirement age, you can actually earn double that amount. So if I'm going to reach my full retirement age in November of this year, I can actually make 56,000. So they give you a benefit in the year you reach your full retirement age. Again, I have all this on my free social security cheat sheet that you can get just by putting your email in and it'll automatically go to your email right now. Everybody should get it because it helps you with all the dates, deadlines, percentages, penalties for both social security and Medicare. Again, it's updated each year, depending on what year you're watching this, go get it. It's free and it will help make sense of this video. You might have to watch this video two or three times. Thanks. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.